If you want to see the very latest video games and software this week, you might want to come to Japan. Developers have come from around the world to show off their latest creations at the Tokyo Game Show, but not all the exhibitors are household names. Individuals and small firms are showing their low-budget games for the first time. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Visitors can get their hands on some of the most eagerly anticipated games before they go on sale. Social network games are also a big draw. They're new and increasingly popular. Nearly half are designed to be played on smartphones and tablets. One genre that's attracting attention is indie games. And they're getting their own spot for the first time this year. Individual and small firms are putting their products on the global market. More than 40 exhibitors are showing the appeal and potential of indie games. One of the most popular indie offerings is Samurai Defender, where the player defends a castle. It went on the market in March, and it's popular. It's been downloaded 600,000 times. The game is the brainchild of one man. Keiji Takeuchi used to work at a big game company. He saw the potential of indie offerings and launched his own business two years ago. The development took about four months. The budget was a few tens of thousands of dollars. That's much less than a big company would spend. Takeuchi and his staff don't need much space. The only tools they use are a few computers. New software technologies allow people to create games without buying expensive equipment. Takeuchi says most of their games are the work of just two people. We released games abroad and got a good response. So we plan to negotiate with firms that might become overseas distributors. Journalists and marketers also see great potential in indie games. They've been checking out the booths of minor labels. I mean, there's a lot of potential because they just the freedom is there to make whatever they want. And that's important when you're a creator, because when at the end of the day, games are a creative industry. Indie games are winning fans around the world. Small developers now have a chance to compete with major labels. They could reshape the industry.